Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Antonio Matarredono and I represent Study in Spain. Uh, this presentation was prepared by CEDIE, which is the organization, uh, official organization of internationalization of education. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't speak Indonesian, so you have to be more in English. Or if you would prefer. Does anyone speak Spanish? No, not yet. Not yet. But in fact, uh, I am here for two reasons. One is to present, uh, to uh, represent CEPIE in this fair, and the other one is I had a meeting yesterday at the Ministry of Education, and we are trying to introduce Spanish in the education system, which is not there yet, but hopefully in the future, not so far in the future, we will get there. Okay. Um, CEPIE, well, as I said before, CEPIE stands for Servicio Español para la Internacionalización de la Educación. Uh, that's what I said, internationalization of education. Uh, we are going to talk about the Spanish university system and reasons to study in Spain. And of course, world opportunities and European universities. Okay, uh, CPA stands for the aim is to put in contact foreign students with Spanish universities. It doesn't charge any fee because it's an official uh, organization. And also to manage Erasmus uh, scholarships. Now, in Spain, there are 91 universities and 232 university campuses. Two, 21 of them are campuses of international excellence and there are 50 public universities and 41 private universities. This is the distribution of universities in Spain. As you can see, uh, in the very center of Spain, the Madrid area has many universities, also in Barcelona, which is over there. You can find the concentration of universities, but you can see there are many all over, all over Spain. And then why Spain? Why are you here? Why are you interested in Spain? And is there anyone who would like to explain why we're interested in Spain? Uh, okay, this is the evolution of the number of foreign students in Spain since 1996. You can see the progression from 14,000 to more than 200,000. So it's grown a lot. There must be a reason for that. Uh, okay. These are students who came for credits and students who came for whole degrees. Now, the number of Indonesian students in Spain is very low. We have to change that, right? Uh, of course, 2021 was a difficult time, and that explains that why the tendency was reversed, but it's slowly growing, and hopefully the number will increase soon. Now, the reasons for studying Spain, uh, I think many of them will be obvious, but let's see the Spanish language, the high standard of living, cultural and geographic diversity and richness, there are English taught uh, programs, there is, uh, it's a 
key point in innovation and technology, and the visa policy is quite uh, easy. So I, I think you recognize those, those two figures, do you? Who, who are these people? No? Okay, uh, as you probably know, the most published ever work of literature is Don Quixote. In any other language, the most published work of literature is Don Quixote. This is Don, Don Quixote, and this is his helper, Sancho Panza. Okay? So, Spanish is the second language in the world by number of speakers. That means native language. Okay? First is Mandarin Chinese, and the second is Spanish. It's the third if you take into account um, English, but not as a, as a mother tongue. English as a second language or foreign language. And the second language of international communication. Over 500 million people speak Spanish. Um, I'm not too sure about that. I've heard that maybe there are more nowadays, there are more speakers of Spanish in the United States than in Spain. Okay. Uh, in 2050, over 754 million people will speak Spanish. Well, that is why you should learn Spanish. Okay. Um, these are all the countries that where Spanish is uh, the native language. It's the second safest country in Europe. I don't know which first language. The third worldwide and second in Europe with a major number of cities declared as World Heritage Sites. Maybe, uh, you know these places? No? Uh, that would be Barcelona. That would be Santiago de Compostela. That would be Granada. Alhambra. Have you heard about the Alhambra? Okay. Let's move on. We had 84 million tourists in 2019 for the pandemic. It's the third country in the world in tourist arrivals and in revenues after tourism. The second in the world in number of hotel beds, and the fourth world destination in international congresses and meetings. The first European country and third in the world in agricultural biotechnology, second European country and ninth in the world in automobile production, fifth in the world in biochemistry and molecular biology, and second in the world in renewable energies and patent applications. Now, uh, talking about universities, 55 universities are among the best 5% in the world, according to QS or several uh, agencies, and 50 under 50 in the QS ranking, number one in Europe, number, number two in the world. Right. There are over 3,000 bachelor degrees, 1, 000, over 1,000 PhD programs, and over 3,500 master's degrees. And among them, we can find 630 bachelor degrees and 462 which are in English. Totally or partially in English. Not all of them are 100%, but about half of them would be 100% in English. 
in case you don't want to learn Spanish before you go. Okay, you can find if you want to follow these links, these QRs. Then I have the degrees and the ones that are taught in English. This is the, pro the procedure to start uh, to get to start university in Spain when you uh, finish high school. It depends um, on whether you are going to a public university or a private university. The procedure is different. If you go to a public university, you have to go through the um, either an exam taken at the UNED, which is the um, distant uh, university or the EBAU, which is an exam taken by all students in Spain before going to university. But private universities have different procedures. For masters and PhDs, no general requirements except for the required language. Of course, if it's in Spanish, you are required to have a level in Spanish. Normally it's a B2, and if it's English, again, it will be a B2 in English. Um, but the requirements change um, depending on the university, so you will have to contact the university about the specific requirements. This is how much it costs to study in Spain. So, it, I think uh, I'm told, I'm not much knowledgeable about the prices of Indonesian universities, but I think this must sound cheaper than many Indonesian universities. I'm sorry, but I can't tell the prices in, in uh, rupees because uh, I can't calculate that. In case, in case you wonder what the difference between a public university and a private university. Public universities are run by uh, with, with government money and private universities are run by uh, their own resources so they charge more because it's uh, like a business. There are several uh, ways to get uh, scholarships. It depends on which course. Normally, uh, universities have their own scholarships, and uh, some already include the Erasmus Mundus uh, agreement. But it, uh, it depends wholly on which degree you want to do, or which master's degree you want to do, etc. Then, how much does it cost to live in Spain? Uh, well, probably this was prepared uh, before the mm, inflation tendency in the recent months, but it's still, I think it's still valid. Of course, Madrid and Barcelona have higher prices for everything. Uh, in case you know that, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how much, uh, where you are of the symbols, that's, a, that's supposed to be a paella, so it means food. That should be for leisure, entertainment, etc. Okay, 
how can I get my degrees from? Um, this is the document you would, uh, the visa document you would get as a student, and this is the um, ID you would get in Spain if you spend um, more than six months in Spain. So if you're going to spend less than six months, you just need the visa. But if you're going to spend more than six, you need to go to the foreign, um, what's it called? La Oficina de Extranjeros, it's a section of the police where they will give you this other It's supposed to be an easy procedure, so that shouldn't be a worry. Well, of course, can I work in Spain while you're studying? Yes. Either while you're studying and after completing your studies. It's not there, but um, I think it's about 20 hours maximum of work time while you are studying. And it should be compatible with your studies. And then, of course, we have European Universities. That's a section of the organization that deals with uh, agreements between universities. So, well, it means that uh, it might be possible while studying in Spain to do part of your studies in another university in Europe, which is, uh, which is connected to that university. As you know, uh, Spain belongs to the European Union and to the Schengen Treaty. And once you get a visa to go to Spain, you get a visa to go all over Europe. The, one, the Europe that is within the Schengen uh, Agreement, okay? Uh, these are the universities that are part of uh, European universities. And uh, that's all. If you have any questions, I will be glad to answer. I know the answer. I like to think before so Thank you. Any more 
questions? How many of you have visited Spain? Yeah? Yes, not yet? Okay. Well, I hope you will have the chance to do that soon. Thank you very much for your attention and I will be at the booth to answer any question in particular. Thank you very much.